I'm Bob Ward, uh, an EY partner. I've got over 25 years' experience in transaction advisory type work, and in particular around restructuring and advising companies on viability and going concern related issues. So the viability statement, what's it all about? Well, this came on the back of uh, what was going on in the financial services crisis back in 2008-9. And what really interested the Financial Reporting Council was the fact banks were going bust and auditors were signing off reports of, and accounts literally months before clients had big solvency issues. So they were very concerned about improving risk assessment, improving governance, and overall improving better disclosure around viability. So what the new viability statement is all about is about companies providing more information, more disclosure around the future viability of their organisation. So really what I, what I think this is all about is businesses using their existing business planning cycle, possibly three years, stress testing those forecasts, looking at risk-based scenarios, putting a downside lens on it, that's what the code wants you to do, and be, be confident that you have sufficient headroom in your business to run it. You've got headroom on covenants, you've got headroom on cash, you've got headroom on other areas. You know that you can deal with loss of a material contract. You can know what happens if you have real problems in a particular geography you're trading in. And the whole idea is you can give sufficient disclosure around that to give your investors confidence that you are a viable business for the foreseeable future. They're not asking you to think of all the possible risks that could hurt your business, quantify them and add them all up and show that the company goes bust. That's not what this is about. This is about looking at severe but plausible downsides. The FRC provides guidance. It doesn't provide you know, specific line by line, this is what you will do, tick list, do this, do that, do the other. But what the FRC do say, this is not a perfect science, this is not about certainty, this is about looking into the future, and it's about the board making some sensible assumptions around how they're assessing viability. And they're not looking for a gold-plated statement being signed off that says this business will definitely be viable under all circumstances over the next three to five years. They're looking for better and enhanced disclosure around how viability has been assessed, what the risks are that might threaten the business model, and how they've determined that the business should be viable under those various scenarios that have been stressed. So I think in terms of the way boards need to run themselves and govern, the whole risk assessment, I think, has been lifted up the agenda. So rather than it being a management issue, it's now a board issue. And I think there needs to be much more regular reporting to the board on key risks, where risks, where there's been a lack of compliance around internal controls. That needs to be done on a continual basis, not on a quarterly, semi-annual, annual basis. So I think that's been very much stepped up. I also think that I would expect the board to be wanting to see sort of regular updates on some of the stress testing. So they're seeing, you know, if a business has some concerns around covenant compliance, has some issues around tightness on liquidity in a working capital facility, they're going to be monitoring that fairly rigorously. Now, now good businesses will do that already, and basically I think it just needs to be more formalised and more documented as part of their reporting cycle. What is driving this is better disclosure, better information for investors to make better informed decisions around what's going on at companies. This is not about certainty. This is not about people giving guarantees. It's about understanding what might impact the future viability of an organisation and how much the board of directors are over this. They understand it. They understand the risks. They understand how to mitigate them and they think there's a plausible scenario in which they can deal with all of this. For companies that are doing really well, that are managing their risk, and that, and that are able to demonstrate how viable they are, they can disclose this in a really positive way.